Hello, thanks for joining me for another beer review then. Today we've got a beer from the Cloudwater Brewing Company and this is their confirmation bias and it's a double IPA. It's coming in at 8% ABV. No IBUs carried on this one so it's a 440ml can then. Um, yeah, double IPA, 3.5 UK units. This beer was canned on the 25th of October of 2019. So I'm reviewing this on the 30th of January. So that just gives you a clue. It's got a best before date then of the 14th of February of 2020. So we're fine there. So it's the back end of this this beer's shelf life. Um, hopefully it's still, it's going to be still tasty, I'm sure. Um, anyway, purchased this one at the Little Swift in Margate and this saying about this beer is big and juicy it says it on the actual just above the actual name of the beer there we go it's got very kind of um almost looks like a scaly sort of uh chameleon-y type it doesn't doesn't change color nothing but you know you know what i'm saying it's got little sort of grooves in it but um um, it says advancements to our water treatment and yeast give this one off double IPA an incredibly soft smoothy body and rounded flavour profile making it remarkably easy going despite its strength 8% ABV of course um, a blend of bold hand selected hops from America and New Zealand provides an intriguing combination of floral high notes and a juicy fruit backbone but it doesn't actually tell you any more what, what hop varieties or anything in it Let's crack it open then and see what we get. I did like the old style like labelling for um, what's going on in the beer, what hops, etc, and what malts. We'll leave it like that for now. So what we got in the glass? It's a, um, it's quite a darker shade of haze, if you like, but orangey sort of um, looking beer. Um, not quite amber, but you know what I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of heading towards that way. Didn't really pour much of a head on that kind of fairly aggressive pour, so I'll just give it a swirl and see if it reinforces that head anymore. There's a little bit of alcohol legs coming down the glass. Yeah, 8% ABV, you're going to get a little bit of that, I guess. I guess. Get my words out um, but yeah into the light yeah it's hazy lots of little particulates coming through the beer there's a gentle kind of carbonation streaming from the sides of the glass and that's it it's getting aroma yeah very on orangey tangerine almost tangerine jam Quite sweet. It very kind of yeah, jammy, marmalade sort of orange. Let's go straight into the taste and see we get it. Cheers. for an unbiased review. Right, very smooth. Bit of a sharp kind of citrusy kind of kick. Quite sweet. Very kind of a little bit sticky on the palate. There is kind of a yeah, a bready kind of malt kind of thing going on with this. Quite bold malt build, I'd say. That's the only indication to ABV rather than the actual alcohol itself. Very juicy, very bold, very fruity. And that's pretty much what it said, isn't it? Big and juicy. That's about right. It is. Um, marmalade. 
A lot of kind of hop oils going on with that as well, just to reinforce it. Not much else though, I mean, it's very orangey forward. Easy drinking, which is crazy for an 8% beer. Upper end of a medium body. Let's pull the rest of this cannage in. There we go. You get more of a kind of carbonation kick when you throw that in, then it just all calms down. So another beer from Cloud War. I've still got a few in the fridge actually to uh, get through. So but yeah, I mean it's, that's what it is. It's like that rind, uh, rind of a um, orange marmalade kind of feel. Not crazy sweet. Maybe a touch of lime as well. Lime zest, piffy lime zest. Not piffy lime zest, but piffy lime and zest. Lovely beer. Um, th there's no hint for me that this beer, you know, the hops or anything has faded at this stage of, it, of its life. Um, I don't know if it, you, it might be still be knocking around online, but I say I've got picked up a local uh, bar, bottle shop type thing, so. Um, and they still had these available locally to me at the time of recording. So, um, yeah, another nice beer from Cloud War. What do you expect, really? This is um, their field, if you like. Um, in terms of a rating, then, for me on this, I'm going to give this a ooh, an 8.5 out of 10. So it's a 4.25 on the untapped scale. Um, if you see it around still, uh, you, you bit put off by the date of it. I personally think it's still drinking well. So, anyway, let's go to Untapped. It's had three thousand five hundred forty-three total check-ins. That's a lot, considering it's a, a, like a one-off beer. Um, Two hundred ninety-seven in the last thirty days. So a lot of people are still picking this up in the last three or four weeks, which is which is interesting. Um, it's had three thousand one hundred ninety-four total ratings. Then it's coming at four point zero five. So there you go. That just tells you all you need to know about that. That's a very high rating for that amount of score. Um, or that amount of rating, should I say. So, yeah. Let me know if I've had this one before. Um, yeah, it's a very nice beer. A few floral notes coming in. That sort of thing. Maybe a slight kind of uh, spicy edge or something going on on the back end. But, yeah. Nice beer. Let me know if you've had it down below. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're new... Please subscribe, that'd be really cool. Give us a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.